How you doing guys? Dragon Man here. I just bought another hot rod. Check it out. Number 47. It's a beauty. Taking it off the coach one. Tea bucket. They only made tea buckets for like uh, 12 years, uh, 1915 to 1927, and uh, I have every one of them. Okay, this one's got a 350 Chevy motor in it, turbo 400 transmission, and a 9-inch Ford rear. Beautiful disc brakes in the front. Look how clean the thing is. The guy had the whole frame powder coated. All the motors all rebuilt, clean as a whistle, and uh, got a brand new gas tank in the back here. And that thing uh, starts right up and drives like a new car. Look at this. It's one of the best tea buckets I've ever seen. Clean as a whistle. Doesn't overheat. I was real lucky to get this. So this makes number 47 in my collection. 47. Before you know it, before the spring, I plan to have 50 hot rods. Yahoo! 50 hot rods! I don't even have to go to the car shows anymore. I got my own. Anytime I want it, I just walk in here, put the lights on, instant car show. And you guys are welcome to come see my uh, hot rod museum. Uh, we open the museum towards the end of April uh, when it warms up a little bit. Uh, today is about 45 degrees, and uh, we're real lucky that it's uh, no snowstorms uh, yet, no major snowstorms. Okay guys, well, uh, let's see. Let's start it up for you. We put the fuel pump on, uh, put the key on, make sure it's a neutral, and uh, let's see what happens here. Oh, look at that, huh? Three deuces. And most guys only use the middle carburetor. Uh, all three uh, carburetors are hooked up. See the linkage? Well, that thing's in excellent shape. Okay guys, we've 
guys have a good day. Just want to show you my newest hot rod. Yahoo! I couldn't be happier. I'm the guy who has everything. And I work for it.